In today's work in Connecticut, Margot Farrell spoke with the president of the Hartford Baking Company. As we know, the restaurant industry has been hit so hard during this health crisis, during this pandemic. Here's more on how they were impacted and how they've adapted. We have uh, cafes, uh, two parts of our business. We have cafes. Uh, we have two cafes in North Hartford. We were in the process of just, just about opening our third in Glastonbury a couple weeks ago. And then another big part of our business is we do wholesale bread for restaurants. So uh, March 16th, shutdown comes and our business is pretty much gone. So we decided to, we ran it for about five days and then I decided to shut down for about two weeks just to reconfigure and get some ideas and figure out how we can, you know, reopen smaller and, and try and figure out how to adapt to this in reality. What are you guys doing now? Are you doing delivery? Are you doing donations? Anything that's kind of changed in that scope? We've done some big donations here and there. We're working with Luna Pizza uh, on getting some food uh, and things to some uh, workers at the uh, Hartford Hospital. Uh, we're open, so one of our cafes has reopened for curbside delivery only. We set up online ordering during the time that we were closed. Uh, that's going really, really well. People really appreciate it. Uh, I think we're going to get Glastonbury online in a couple of weeks and do the same thing. Wholesale is really gone because all the full service restaurants, no one's really doing table bread because there's no tables, you know? Um, so it's, it's tough to know what's going to happen. We're doing, we have our third cafe in New Park Ave, which we're going to start doing boxes like um, grocery, pantry, bread, pastry, pull up, or online, pull up, we put it in the trunk for you and that should keep the family going for a couple of days, things like that. How do you see the industry changing going forward, especially the food industry as a whole? It's going to be tough. I think it's going to, I think it's going to take a little while. Uh, I think it's going to be slow to start. I think you're going to see capacity restrictions in restaurants without a doubt. Uh, possibly temperature checks with an infrared thermometer. I don't know if that's going to happen you know, in this country so much. I know they, they do that in, in China. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of scrutiny on, on sanitation. Are people going to want to drink out of glasses? Are they going to want self single use, you know, self serve stuff? I don't know. I mean, most of our businesses take out anyway. Uh, so we're set up for that, but a full service restaurant, I really don't know what to expect. It, it could be longer to recovery than people think. All right, and with phase one of the reopening happening tomorrow, they are going to be offering outdoor seating at their New Park Avenue location. That's at 625 New Park. Now, if you know of someone working during this time and you want us to profile how their industry has changed, how they've adapted, send us an email to workinct at fox61.com.